It's a place where magic happens. I love children. Did you put this together? I can I get so much enjoyment from them. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. Good morning to you. This is Providence Mount St. Vincent in Seattle. People here affectionately call it the Mount. It's a senior's home, like no other, where the very old and the very young spend their days together. Now you put your hand up on top, there. Where years blend into moments. Look at you guys are playing a game together. Wow. Can you come with me? Patricia Lowe is 94 years old. She had seven children in 11 years. Now I have a chance to sit back and enjoy them, you know because I had to hurry up, get the laundry done, hurry up, get, you know, <laughs> hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> and now you can just watch. <laughs> now I can, I enjoy, yeah. We skip and we skip and we skip and we skip. We the Mount is home to 400 residents. It's also home to 125 children who attend a daycare in the building. Employees came up with the idea 20 years ago but Charlene Boyd pushed it much further. These children are present in the moment, and so are the residents in the moment as well. And when you put those two together, it is such a great connection. I think I'll put that right there. Is that okay? Charlene is the director here. The little ones have their own defined space, but she made sure the entire facility is licensed for childcare, setting the stage for something rare and remarkable. So somebody who might have severe dementia might just open up and see that joy in her life or his life for a moment. And remember being a parent, remember being um, in that moment. That present perfect is what we see every day. That present perfect, it's found when the halting march of time seems to stop. The average age of residents here is 92. The children are part of their daily lives, both spontaneous and planned. Hey. <laughs> that is so cute. How do you feel about visiting with the babies? Oh, I love it. I do. I really love it. Every time they come, I always come and get to the place where I can find out to hold them and I just love it. What do you love about them? Well, for one thing, they're squishy <laughs> and that's kind of a strange thing, but just to feel their soft bodies is just it's so fun and I really like it. I really like to see the kids. <laughs> It's one of those things you either love kids or you don't love kids. And I love them. I mean, I just think they're very special, you know. And I love to hug them and squeeze them and sing songs to them. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Let's <laughs> talk. The Mount has long made it its mission to be a home for living, not dying, to provide a sense of community in a place where no one wants to be. That's not too hot, is it? No. Okay. From trips to the hairdresser. Happy birthday to the July folks. To weekly parties celebrating milestones. The model is less medical, more about meaningful interactions. The children are part of that natural rhythm of lives growing more quiet and often more remote. You guys are such a big help. Thank you so much. Many residents, like Henrietta Turner, have dementia. There's a little wheel turning in my heart. Time with the children is actually part of their care plan. 
to help reduce anxiety, to help them engage, and to unlock glimpses of lives steadily slipping away. It's a full circle of life. I think it's really important that, the, that these elders are not out of sight, out of mind, that um, all of us are aging, and all of us will not always age at these perfect ways, and that just because I'm in a wheelchair, just because I'm a walker, just because I am in um, have a dementia, doesn't mean that I'm not human and that those children are learning that humanness at a very young age. The laughter and the spirit that they have with no particular agenda other than themselves. And so that connection is so powerful, the magic that you cannot bottle up. Lorenzo. And there are magical bonds that defy words. Give my regards to Broadway. Remember me in Harold's Square. Jim Nelson is 77. He moved in six years ago after a series of falls. His family doesn't visit often. Three-year-old Enzo Boado is a big part of his new one. What song do you like to sing? Zippity-doo-da. Zippity-doo-da, zippity-day. My, oh, my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine, plenty of rain. Whenever they come, I uh, like to do, do something with them. I don't just pass them by. I think that I'm teaching positiveness. Why uh, moan and groan about something? Uh, because you can't do anything about it. But you can, uh, if you say, I can do this. I'm going to do this. Let's get on with the show. It is an incredibly simple philosophy and so powerful. Mount St. Vincent has never done any formal studies to add up the effect of all these moments, to measure what amounts to happiness. Most people living here will only be here for two years, and most will tell you, joy is always within reach. I'm telling you, everyone just loves those children. Mary Gonzalez is 75 years old. She moved in a year ago after a hip injury. Mary has six children, seven grandchildren. She sees them often, but says she can't get enough of the children here. My heart is just it's full. My heart is full mm -hmm. because I, they're so adorable, they're so wonderful, and I love them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they make my life. And every day after they go, she goes to visit them. Hi, I love you very much. How can anyone not love it? <laughs> Yet another moment where fading love lights you. still burn so bright. Bye. Love you. Joanna Rumeliotis, CBC News, Seattle. You're very there.